Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another review slash comparison video. Today we might have the best one I've ever done because we are reviewing three very high end to medium range binoculars and we're going to be telling you if they're worth your money, which one you should buy and whether or not you should check these out for yourself. So let's jump into the video. Alright guys, real quick before I get too too far into this, I just want to say that all three of these will be linked below if you want to check them out or if you do decide to go with whatever I recommend or if you want one of the other ones, check it out for yourself in the link below. So just right off the bat, let's go ahead and get the names out of the way. We have the Conquest HD from Zeiss. We have the Pro Gods from Leopold and the Diamondbacks from Vortex. Now the only difference between these is really is the Leopolds are a 12 zoom. Uh, the others are both 10 zoom. I have them lined up in price range right here. So the Conquest from Zeiss, they are around a thousand bucks, give or take. The Leopolds, the Pro Gods, they're around 700 bucks, give or take. And the Diamondbacks from Vortex are around 250, give or take. I say give or take because if you bought them on sale or you know you bought them from a friend or something, they might not be as much, or you know somebody gypped you and you paid too much for them. So those are estimate prices. But right off the bat, um, let's just look at the cases themselves and the binoculars, the way they feel. So cameraman, if you'll bring in the camera. So if we look at the Zeiss. Um, the case isn't, as you can see, it's nowhere near as good. It doesn't really come with anything at all. It's just a little case. It's got some padding in it, but it doesn't come with anything at all. Um, as you can see, all the binoculars, more or less, they come with um, the eye relief. It comes in and out so you can get a better picture, and they all bend, have a focus ring. So that's very similar on all of them. But the grips on these, I would say that Zeiss, the Conquest HD, they win the grip uh, war. They're just like made out of this good rubber material. It's freezing. I can't feel my hands. We've we've been out here filming and doing stuff for a while. But these binoculars aren't that cold, and they're made out of this. And I think if it was hot, it would still be easy to grip these. They wouldn't be uncomfortable. It's made out of this like rubber material. So they're honestly my favorite for as far as feel goes. Now moving on to the Leopold. This case is a little nicer. Um, it doesn't really come with much more. I mean, it. They do come with this strap right here, the Leopolds, has this little side pouch, and I mean, you can hook it onto a book bag, but you can do this one as well. So not too much different, but as far as grip goes, I like the way the uh, Zeiss feel better still, but the Leopold, they have a lot of stippling on it, which makes it good to grip. Uh, it's not too bad, you're not just holding like cold plastic. Uh, I do like the rubber feel on the Zeiss a lot better than the Leopold, but these are still phenomenal. They're not hard to hold, they're, they're not, because like I said, this stippling here on the side helps it a lot. Now if we move down to the Vortex, as you can see, they don't have near the stippling that, that the, the Leopold did, nor do they have the rubber like the Zeiss. They just have this right here. They have some thumb grips on the bottom. So they're not terrible to hold, but just in your hand, especially, I don't think it would ever really make that big a difference, but it's just when it's cold. These are a lot colder to hold. But if it's cold, you probably have gloves on. However, the Vortex trumps all of them in the terms of like bag. Like this bag is just super nice. Got padding on the inside, got pockets on the side, got a zipper back here, and then it comes with this very, very nice back strap so you can attach it to yourself and you don't have to worry about anything. You can keep it right here on your chest so you don't have to worry about the binoculars going anywhere or anything. So I would honestly say they win the case, but as far as comfortability goes in your hand, the Zeiss definitely have it. Now, when we talk about clarity, I have reviews on all these. If you haven't seen those yet, go check them out. But we couldn't quite get the uh, the camera to see through the eye of the binoculars. So you just have to take my word for it. But honestly, the Leopold killed it by far. The clearest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Like hands down, no question whatsoever, beat the Zeiss. And then they beat the Vortex as well. Now, when we compare the Vortex and the Zeiss, I honestly didn't see that big of a difference. Honestly, the Zeiss, like they are a little nicer, but they're $700 more. I would hope they're nicer. But there's not that big of a difference for me between the, the Vortex and the Zeiss. Just enough to tell that there is a difference. However, the Leopold are absolutely crazy. Like, by far the clearest things ever. And they're cheaper than the Zeiss. So, let's break it down and give like the final thoughts on what's worth the most money. So when we look at it, honestly, I would throw the Zeiss away. I wouldn't ever recommend them to anybody. I mean, 
like the little pot are clear to me they're cheaper the only difference is i like the rubber on the zeiss but the little pot has all this stippling so i mean i, I would never recommend you out of zeiss even if you're a multi-billionaire like there's no use in spending that 300 dollars. in my opinion the little pot's still better however my personal recommendation to almost all outdoorsmen would be to buy these vortex diamondbacks right here the diamondback hd for 250 dollars the bang for your buck is so much better than you get for these i mean for 700 dollars imagine if you bought the 250 dollar vortex ones you could buy something else that was 400 dollars like that's just crazy to me but um the only difference i would say so for 95 percent of outdoor people i would recommend the vortex but if you were a guide or something like this was your job all you do is take people out and stock elk or bighorn sheep or you know you were just an outdoorsman and maybe you're maybe you film in the outdoor industry or whatever it is and you're constantly hunting you know you're going out more than more than 50 60 times a year just like a ton um i'd probably get the little pole if you had the money and that was your job honestly one day my goal is to to be outdoors enough and to have enough money to buy the little pole but as it goes for bang for your buck the vortex definitely won the fight no problem and like i mentioned probably 95 percent of people i would recommend the vortex to it's only the people that are hunting you know 70 80 100 times a year or it's their job or they're just absolutely filthy rich It'd be the only reason i'd ever recommend the leopolds vortex just a bang for your buck for these so so good and once again i would never recommend the conquest to anybody after seeing what the leopold do um honestly i would never recommend them over the leopold and i'm sure if they're like that there's also other other binoculars around that price range that uh, can beat them out but not knocking Zeiss or the brand they are definitely a very very nice pair of binoculars just you don't get as much out of them in my opinion as you do from the Leopold so that's pretty much going to do it for this comparison guys there you have it final thoughts go buy the Vortex they're linked down below just do it right now you'll thank me later I think I'm going to go to Amazon right now and buy me a pair they're just absolutely great bang for their buck and five years from now, hopefully I'll have these little pods. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. Please hit that subscription button. Uh, that helps the channel grow. When the channel grows, we're able to keep making videos like this. You know, people are willing. They see us doing all these videos and they're willing to lend us their stuff. So we can get these review videos out to tell you guys what you should buy. And personally, I would have not known what any of these were like. I wouldn't have known which one to buy. I would have had no clue. And thankfully for review videos like this, you can tell exactly what you want. So by hitting that subscription button, you can help me keep doing that. So, oh, Dave, they just did it. They just hit the subscription button. Yes. Good job. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. That's gonna do it. Check back in for more videos. We'll catch you next time. And as always, take someone outdoors.